Hello. I will show you how to use the Inverse Kinematics engine of Bongo 2. This is uh, Bongo 2 Beta and Rhino 5 Beta. Uh, the model here is a door and it's already animated to open and close. So the only thing left is to animate the arms that are supposed to close the door and I'll do this by using the inverse kinematic engine the other way to do it, do it would be the normal forward kinematic way which means that you'll just specify the rotation angles by setting keyframes for both of these objects but it is very hard because the goal is to make this point in the end of the arm stay together with the point on the door and as the door is moving it would need a lot of keyframes and a lot of work so I'll do it by the inverse kinematic way first of all I have to specify which transformation parameters Bongo is allowed to change and I'll do it by making these two objects joints and they'll be hinges around Z axis this means that Bongo will control the rotation around the Z axis the next thing and the other thing that is needed to create an IK chain is uh, a constraint and in this case the constraint object will be the point in the end of the chain and I will constrain it to another object which of course is the point that I have added to the knob on the door like this and now Bong already did the pre-calculation of the IK so this means that the whole animation is now complete and you'll see that the arm nicely follows the door okay so an IK chain is set up here and you can see the IK chain in the animation manager by right clicking and picking the IK view mode these objects here are the joints and the constraint and uh, the constraint object is the object that tells Bongo what to try to achieve and the joint objects are the objects that tell Bongo which transformation parameters Bongo has control over. So this is the basic idea of inverse kinematics and this tutorial will end. Thanks.